Never did a video on the SIG P320. Hearing a lot of good things about it. Just doesn't really grab me too much. Just for I don't know. Just just does. There's guns out there that are wonderful that I don't care for, which means doesn't mean they're not good guns because I don't care for them. It's just you know sometimes you look at something and you know it's good, but it just doesn't do anything for you. Well, that's the situation I am. I'm in when I when I look at one of these. Because to me, I mean, it reminds me of a P250, and I had a P250, and I hated that thing. But I know it's nothing like a P250, but psychologically, it's it's messing with my head. So I probably, me, for me, I probably won't buy one, but uh, seeing all the people buying them and hearing all the great feedback and all that stuff, it's a good gun. It's reliable. We sell a ton of them. We have them at Double Action, and uh, we have all kinds of stuff there. Uh, new stuff there too. We get we got to do a, uh, a gun shop video. It's been a while. I was supposed to do one, but honestly, I just f I forgot because <laughs> I'm trying to remember all the stuff I got to do. Um, this is a Sig P3 P320 subcompact. If I if I would buy one, th this would be the one I would buy. Uh, this looks like the one that could be carried, the most comfortable. Uh, they're pretty unique firearms. Um, I just this isn't mine. This is a friend of mine. And um, I, had, I made this holster for him in the waistband holster for his carry. Just to show you that real quick. Came out alright. And he likes the strap because he is a strap. He's a strap. No, I'm just kidding. The strap's cool. Um, just started getting these straps in. They're really nice and heavy, thick leather. Not them little cheap rubber ones that you see. And wraps around your belt, snaps on. And uh, nice and clean looking. So he prefers this because he don't like pulling his belt super tight. So when he pulls the gun out, he wants to make sure the holster don't come out with it. So the best way to go, if you don't like pulling your belt tight, is to go with a strap. Okay, then you're being the you're you're in the strap category. You're a strap. I might make one of these for myself. I kind of I kind of like that. I might try it out. But anyway, this this one came out pretty sweet in the waistband, right-handed, great retention. And uh, I hope he's happy with it. So, let's take it out of there. So here it is. Uh, we're going to make the gun safe, as always. I try to remember that in all my videos because I like to preach gun safety. There's nothing wrong with it. So there's nothing in there. It has a, this is the um, 9 millimeter. So this tiny little gun holds 12 plus 1. That's great for, a, for a, this size firearm. Subcompact, very small. A little bit smaller than a Glock 19. Definitely bigger than a Glock 43. It's like in between there. Uh, it's very slender and slim on the bottom. And it has a, a wide, heavier slide on the top. Which I like because it helps you with recoil and muzzle flip. When it has a, a little weight to the slide, there's nothing wrong with that. Looks like the guide rod is steel instead of plastic. It has that new uh, coating that Glock puts on their or their gun. Sig is using it now, as you can see, because uh, this guy shoots this gun a lot, and you can see there's no wear at all on the barrel. So it's amazing. So the unique thing about this particular gun is uh, you could take it has a carriage inside it, and you can take it out and put it in different frames. So I think. I'm saying this right if it works this way. So if you wanted to get a medium, this is a subcompact, so if you wanted to buy the compact frame and I guess the slide from uh, Sig Sauer, it would only cost you a few hundred bucks and then all you do is you take this lever out of here and this whole carriage lifts out and you can put it in another frame without it being a different gun because the serial number is on the carriage. So the gun is the carriage. You can change frame sizes without new serial numbers. It'll be the same serial number. That, that's pretty much what it is. Real easy to take apart. Very, very heavily made. This is what I do like about it. i never seen a carriage and a gun so thick like that. That's, that's really awesome. As you can see, the gauge of the metal is super heavy duty, super thick. Great shooting gun. 
uh, its reputation is because it has such a great trigger, and it does have a great trigger. It does one weird thing. Not sure it's, it's not a bad thing, but it's kind of strange. I'll show you in a second that it does do. Here is the uh, recoil spring, double captured recoil spring, flat wire spring here, braided wire spring on the second half. That's pretty unique. Just notice that. You are so observant sometimes. Okay, here's what I just learned because I'm not familiar with this gun. That recoil spring has to be in a certain direction to get this back together. And it's a direction you wouldn't think it would be, but it is. So I'm going to show you what I did wrong. Okay. The recoil spring has to be, when you put it in, not like that. It has to be tall vertical, like that. See that? I never would think that. That's to me that's that's nuts. But that's how it's going in there and that's that's how it works. I put it flat in there and it wouldn't go. So we're gonna put this in there. High vertical, just like I said. That that's I can't believe that. That's weird. Yeah, see now it goes right on. Okay, so there's a little learning curve. I can't believe that. So now someone that would buy this gun would never think that. Would never think that. That's nuts. Just out of curiosity, I want to put it in the other way. Let's see what happens. Put it in, turn it flat. See if you, now you would think if you did, if you didn't look at it before you took it apart, you took it apart real quick your brain would say keep this low profile so it clears everything but what you're not thinking is it's wide profile wide angled wide width ways it might catch stuff on the side that's probably what's happening saying it won't go see how it won't go so it's got to pay attention so what I said in the beginning about it being tucked in there I was wrong <laughs> completely wrong about that so it has to be like that and now it goes right on. See that? Like I said, I don't own this gun, guys, so I'm learning myself. But when you make mistakes, you learn. Now I'm a little more educated with this gun. Now when I'm at the gun store, if someone's having a hard time getting it on, I can say, I know why. It has to be like that. So there it is. Good gun. They don't jam. Very reliable. People buy them all the time. Right out of the box then they're easy to shoot accurately because they have a fantastic trigger. The trigger is phenomenal. I mean, that's just like, it, it feels like the VP9 or the, the PPQ. The reset, it's got a decent reset. It could push a little harder, but it's not bad. There it is. The only thing I don't like is it does this. What the, f I mean, why would they, I don't know. Why does it do that? You know what I'm saying? It's like a price gun, don't you think? Like, like uh, you see a guy at the Acme putting prices on Campbell soup cans. Dollar ninety nine. Oh, I got two two guns in one. I can use this for self defense too. There you go. But other than that, I can't say nothing negative about it because uh, it's nothing but good feedback. So. There it is, a SIG P320 subcompact, which I think is a nice, a nice size for carrying. Uh, there's no rail. Uh, a lot, of, you know, there's, there's guys that carry with lights. I, I don't, I don't know how they do it, but they do it. I'm not one of them, so I don't care if there's a rail on a carry gun or not. So that's that's the best I could tell you about the SIG P320s. Like I'm not real into them, so but I got an opportunity to show you one. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, um, the holidays are right around the corner, so uh, I got another big light to give away. So, but I'll put it at the end of the video because you know people that don't want to see the lights get irritated because they're too lazy to fast forward or whatever. But it works out better putting the light at the end of the video. I think this way, no one, no one gives a shit about that. If they want to see the light, they'll watch it. If they want to see if they win a light, they'll watch it. 
So that's all I can tell you about this particular gun. Pretty badass, but it's just not for me. Now the through night light, this is the the TN36. This thing is crazy. Lots of lumens. Lots of lumens. Probably the most lumens yet. Awesome packaging. The box is all egg crate foam line. Here's all your spare parts in case you need any spare parts. Okay. The winner of this light is going to be Jack 380. Jack 380 uh, is the winner of this light. I don't have the charger yet, but it's, it'll be here today or tomorrow. By the time um, I, I get it, I will ship it to you, Jack. So the best thing to do is uh, PM me and give me your address so I can ship it to you. This light is astronomical. It's, it's super heavy. It's fat. It takes four 18650 batteries. That's a lot of power. How much power? This much power. Like over 6,000 lumens. Are you friggin' serious? I'm not kidding you, man. I, I did a double take. I'm like, that can't be right. 6,000? Max? If I can find it. Okay. Output strobe runtime. 7,300 lumens for 137 minutes. Jesus. Um, medium is 850 lumens for 587 minutes. Wow. You could run it on low for 130 lumens for 54 hours. Then finally, uh, 2 lumens for 33 days. What the frig? I mean, if this ain't a shit hit the fan light, I don't know what is. It has a, a light for every situation. I don't know. It looks like it's seven. It's seven hundred. It's seventy-three hundred for ninety-five minutes. That's in turbo. That's it. Seventy-three hundred lumens for ninety-five minutes. So this is the brightest light I ever received from from through night. Nice and heavy. It's all metal. It's real glass. It's got like uh, four L little LED lights in each cone. I could see that. It's, it's it's unbelievable. So same thing. You know there it is. There's your. I ain't gonna shine at the camera, but you can't really tell. That's your full lumens there. Okay, and then your low. Two. Three. Wow, that is. That's nuts. That is absolutely crazy. So, whoa, that's, there's a 7300. Now I can't see. All right, is it off? Yes. So, Jack 380, congratulations. Uh, I hope you enjoy the light. I'll have the charger in a day or two. And you are the winner of the Through Night TN36. I'll put the links under the video, guys. It's Christmas time. You know Through Nights, guys. You can get the big badass light like this for a really, really cheap price. And you know what? They last because I have a big through night next to my bed. And it's it's a couple years old now. I don't know. I don't use it a lot, but I never have to charge it. Every time I test it to see how bright it is, it's friggin' just, it's super bright. It's crazy. I also have one in my car that's in the cold and everything. Same thing. Uh, doesn't seem to affect the battery power or how long it stays charged. So, it's it's a good quality product. You know, in the very very beginning with Through Night, there were some stupid little issues, but I think they corrected everything, and I, they really have a, a stand up product now. And the price is ridiculous. I mean, a light like this, anyone else like if someone like Surefire made this or something, this thing would be like three hundred fifty bucks, maybe four four hundred easily. You know, it's nowhere near that. So. Congratulations, Jack. Hope you guys like the light. There's your SIG 320 and the holster. And um, still not doing holsters over the internet right now because I just can't. I wouldn't be able to handle it right now. I got too much shit going on. Can't do it. I do it for a little circle of friends that I have because they're personal friends of mine. But I just can't go open the floodgates right now and, and just do it because I don't have the hours or the manpower to do it. But when I do, I will do it. Okay? Alright guys, talk to you soon.